Hey guys, um, another vlog. It's Saturday. It is the uh, 24th. Uh, school closes on the weekends at 9 p.m. So I've got to go home now. Um, terrible news. Uh, I made very little progress, but um, that's because the system was just so still so noisy. And I really dug deep into why this was the case. Um, let me show you what the speed, the plot of speed looks like. Um, so, okay. Here is... Uh, Okay, okay, I'm gonna just take this motor and I'm gonna twist it like this. Um, like that, back and forth. I'm gonna go forward, then I'm gonna go backwards. So forwards, um, the, um, I see it's moving very quickly. I'm just gonna turn off A and B. This graph, this is forwards. It goes negative for some reason. Backward? Bizarre. Why are they doing this? You know what, let me plot a the like pod value at the same time so we can see. Oh, it's very, very high. Let me move this back then. That should help us read that. No, it's just still a wiggle. Um, target speed, yeah. I said this like here. That should help a bit. Okay, okay. When I move, go backwards, it's just, I mean, the, the current speed is positive which sure makes sense. And then it settles down. It's actually filtered. If I do raw speed, right, it's all positive. A bit of, a little tiny bit of noise. If I go backward, halfway, half and half. Why is that the case? Let's observe my encoder pulses. Uh, I'm gonna, if I plot uh, the speed at the same time, yeah, they're just super noisy and bad. Uh, let me try, I'm gonna put out my phone for one second. Okay, I paused it during, uh, yeah, it did just look really terrible. The reason for this, um, like not like normally these are like A and B are like square waves that are very slightly out of phase, but these are just like almost random. I was going to, Okay, I have a theory as to why this is the case. I will let you guys know how it works out tomorrow. Goodbye.